Welcome back guys. In this video, you will learn how to whiten teeth inside Photoshop. As you can see on the screen, this is how the model looked a moment ago. After I took some time to brighten the teeth, this is how she looks right now. So let's get started inside Photoshop and let me show you how. Alright, the first thing we are going to do is to duplicate this background layer. So I'll press Ctrl plus J and then rename this other layer. Now, there are many methods to brighten teeth inside Photoshop, but the method I usually use is to first of all create a selection around the portions I need to correct. So if I zoom into the teeth portion right here, you can see that there is a lot of color tint to it. The teeth look reddish and yellowish. So I'm going to start by selecting the lasso tool, the free from lasso tool, and then I'm going to manually create a selection around the portion of the teeth I need to brighten. After establishing the base selection, zoom into your particular selection and refine it. As you can see, I missed certain portions, so I'm just going to hold the shift key and add this particular portion here. Now if you look at the upper section right here, you can see that I went too far. So let us subtract this portion by holding the ALT key, that will be the option key if you are using the mark. I will just hold it down and then just subtract this selection like so. Now at this stage, the more time you take to have a perfect selection, the easier the correction is going to be. So I recommend you spend some time here to actually refine your selection. And if you are new to the channel and you don't actually know how to use the lasso tool, I've made a video about that, you can check the playlist in the channel. Now I think the upper selection is ok, so what I'm going to do is to save this current selection. For that, I will go to select and then choose save selection right here. And I'll just give the name upper teeth. Then click on the ok button. And let's press ctrl T to deselect. Now let's take some time to select the teeth at the bottom. And as you can see, I'm trying my best not to select the gums. Because the gums are not actually part of the teeth. And it looks like I need to include just these portions right here. So I'll zoom in. Then hold the shift key and just add these portions like so. Now that the selection is ready, let us again go to select and then choose save selection. I will rename this one to lower teeth. Then say ok. Then let's press ctrl G to deselect everything. Now something which you must have noticed why I used the lasso tool is that here on the options bar I kept the feather value to 0. And that is very important because if you are trying to get a very sharp selection, the feather value needs to be 0 otherwise you might end up creating a selection and the feathering value will actually make it not so aligned. So while creating a base selection, keep the feather value to zero because feather value can always be adjusted. So let us go to select and then choose load selection this time and let us click inside this box and choose the upper teeth selection. As you can see, the selection has been restored. And right now, if I were to add any adjustment to it, the transitioning from the portions with the teeth to the gum will be so sharp. So to add some softness, let us go to select and then choose modify and let's choose feather as you can see from here. Now for this upper selection, a feather radius of 3 will work just fine, so I'll just click OK. Then with this selection still active, I'll go to the adjustment layer icon and then choose hue saturation. And anytime you have an active selection, if you add any adjustment layer, it will come in with a max already applied. And this is why it was very necessary for us to take some time and create a good selection. Right now you can just play along with these sliders, just like so. As you can see, the colors get affected instantly. 
The most important slider here would be the lightness slider because I can just take it up to brighten the teeth, just like so. So while I was trying to test the image out, I came with some values which I'm going to input here. So for the hue, I'm going to input negative 177, then I'll just select saturation and input negative 63. Then I'll press the tab key to advance to the lightness value. Now input positive 55, just like so. And this is how everything looks right now. So we can just toggle here to see the before and after. As you can see, this is how everything looks without the adjustment and this is how everything looks right now. Now a cool trick to keep things natural is to come here under the opacity and take it down to zero. Now gradually increase the opacity to actually match the level you actually want. Okay, so let's just take it up ever so slightly but I think a value of 80 will do so I'll just input 80 right there. Now let us select the layer again then let's go to select and let us choose load selection and let's click inside here and load the lower selection then let's say okay as you can see the selection is also restored let us again go to select choose modify and add some feathering to it for this particular selection a feather radius of 3 will not work because as you can see the selection right here is too close if we add a feather radius of 3 this section will be cut out so I'm going to input a feather radius of just 1.3 1.3 will do so I'll put it and then just confirm it then with this selection active I will again go here and then choose hue saturation and because we have this selection it's going to come in with that selection as a max already applied and I'll just input those same values here And let us also click on the opacity and take it down to 80%. Now the next thing we are going to do is to put these two layers inside one group by pressing Ctrl J and then I'll just rename it to adjustments or whitening. Now the reasons I put these two adjustments inside one group is so that you can be able to manually adjust them. Okay, but if you need to still adjust the opacity of the whole layers you can still come here because as you can see this opacity controls the opacity of the whole group so you can also take it down this time we are affecting the two adjustment layers we have added here but since we already reduced the opacity of the two adjustment layers i think it is good to allow this one up to 100 percent and right now as you can see this is how everything looked a moment ago and with the adjustments we have made this is how she looks right now it looks beautiful so that is how you can easily brighten teeth inside Photoshop. The most important thing you need to know is that first create a selection using any tool of your choice. You can use the pen tool or the lasso tool or just the quick selection tool. The good thing is that you will be able to create a selection that is going to help you during the masking process. So thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you found value out of this video, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon. Comment down below to let us know and I'm going to see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye-bye.